Nancy today. Well, I wanted to tell you some things. Um, I got, I, I, I fired the kiln all night. I, I emptied it last night. And these I have to put a clear glaze on so they they didn't go in it. And these four plates broke because I stacked them. You can't stack plates when you're firing them in the bisque firing. I don't know if you can stack them in the next time either. Anyway, that didn't work. But three other plates did and a bunch of bowls, some big huge bowls worked. So I, I made them to match. I used this, um, this glaze, which is that light green, this one, this is the glaze. So I hope that, I hope that works. Some of those came out brown, depending on, um, the kind of, the kind of, um, clay body, I guess. This is a kind of reddish, red clay, so it might turn out brown. Anyway, they'll match the first set. So those plates and those big bowls will go with the first set of dishes that I fired. Anyway, so um, I ran the kiln last night. So at, I worked on it and I turned the, uh, I turned it on low around 7.30. I put the bottom burner on low and I was still loading the kiln. And then um, about 9 o'clock, I was all done loading it, and I had both burners on. And I, um, I figured that would help. You know, sometimes you want to keep it a little bit open and fire it a little bit open so that it dries everything out. And so I did that. And at 9 o'clock, I closed it. Or so it was on low and at midnight I set my alarm I went to bed at 11 but I set the alarm for midnight so at midnight I woke up and I turned it on medium and at 325 or something I woke up and turned it on to high low at 9 medium at midnight about 320 on high and I got up at 5 and started watching it and at about 6 o'clock or 615 now I can't even remember Darn it, I need to start writing all these numbers down so I know exactly what I'm looking for. It, it, the kiln setter turned it off. And I looked through the peephole and I really had a hard time seeing anything. And I turned it back on very carefully and let the kiln setter down. You know, you have to lift the kiln setter, push the button, and then very carefully let it down. If you let it drop, it'll turn it off. So you had to let it down very carefully. So I turned it back on and I sat there and I watched. I sat outside and it was negative five out, I guess. And I sat out there and I, I had my goggles and I watched through the hole and it was so hard to see anything. It was so hard. But I had the three, the six, the five, six, and seven. The seven broke and so I only had the top of it. And that was in. So I could see that top. The six and the, the five and the six were just, I couldn't see a gap between them and I couldn't see anything. But when the kiln setter fell, I, I could detect that one was bent at some point. I'm not sure if it was bent all the way over or it wasn't bent all the way over like that. But as I sat out there and watched, I could see the first one disappeared. And then I tried to watch and watch. The third one was still very straight. And I watched and waited. And I think I did that for about 15 minutes. And then finally I decided that the middle one had bent. But it's so hard to see because there were items behind it. I think if there were nothing behind it, and if there were enough room between them, you would see the light. 
at the back of the kiln. You would see light behind it. But if you've got a bowl behind or anything, it doesn't work. So I'll have to, I'm learning how to place my kiln setter. Anyway, so um, that's the situation from here. I do have one more bowl that's ready to um, fire. And that's the only one. The rest are in there. I put my plates, I had a plate on the shelf, and I found that, believe it or not, this thickness, was it that thickness or was it this thickness? This thickness, or even a little less, one of those other things, they're in the kiln, so I can't show you, but one that's, that's bumpy, bump, 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 bump. Anyway, which is less than this. Um, it was enough to put the next shelf on and bypass the plate underneath. I hope that's okay. I hope that it didn't need more air than that. <sighs> anyway, so live and learn. I think it might have worked well. I wonder if I can see anything in the kiln now through my goggles. Hello, hello. Ha, I can see you. So, oh, we got a good frost out there. Okay, so let's see what we can see in here now. I'm sitting back here. see something oh yeah you can see one is totally bent the second one might be I don't think it bent to the side I think it might have bent to the back or something I can't see it <laughs> 